my family was glad to get rid of me. They were saying, now you're going to vote on the stage. You're not going to get a ticket, are you? <laughs> no, I'm going to be on the stage. You're free. You can do it. We strip to the mic as well. Get tired of the mic out. Good evening, everyone. If you're able, please stand and join me as we welcome in the McCracken County High School class of 2021. Please remain standing as we honor America with the singing of our national anthem by McCracken County High School seniors Abby Meadows and Olivia Baker. So far. 
and bright stars through the perilous fight. For the ramparts we walk were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets were glad, the bombs bursting in air, came through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free. You may be seated. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to McCracken County High School. We are gathered here this evening to celebrate the graduating class of 2021. Parents, family members, close friends, faculty, staff, our superintendent, members of the board, I would like to thank you each for choosing to celebrate with us tonight. I would also like to thank you for the overwhelming support this year and for all the encouragement you've provided these students, our staff, and me. Graduating class of 2021, it brings me great joy to stand here and see all your smiling faces. I'm so happy we're able to have this moment. We've had a wonderful end to the craziest school year ever. You've been tested unlike any class before and you've learned to adapt and overcome. I'll be forever grateful for the positivity you've maintained through it all. Yours is a class that will forever hold a special place in my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm standing before a truly gifted group of young men and women. There are many elite academic scholars in this group. Nearly 58% of this class are graduating with honors. Collectively, they've obtained nearly 18 million scholarship dollars. They will be representing Mustang Nation across the country at schools like Duke, Southern California, West Point, Nebraska, Florida State, all over Kentucky, and dozens more. Many will stay local and have plans to make positive contributions to our community here in Western Kentucky. We have a graduate who will be attending a convent in Texas, a Maritime Academy in Massachusetts, and many students who will be joining the armed forces. There are graduates heading directly into trade amidst a growing need for their services locally and across the country, furthering skills they likely acquired here at McCracken County High School. Many of them are district champions, regional champions, state champions, and even national champions. There are students who have received both state and national recognition for their art, music, or dance. We even have a verified TikTok influencer amongst us. They will soon enter perhaps the most exciting chapter of their lives. Members of the audience, you've spent years, countless time and resources pouring into these young people. As a school, we have done our very best to educate them, not only with books, but with relationships, experiences, and opportunities unique to students of McCracken County High School. Graduates, from the time you first step into McCracken County High School, You've been taught to work hard and be nice. Two things you can do for the rest of your lives that won't cost you a dime. When I became principal two years ago, we transitioned to a new slogan. The first part of which says, everyone matters. Treating everyone as though they truly matter is a principle needed in our world now more than ever. I pray when you leave here and enter the world, you'll see others as valuable and important. Even if they don't agree with everything you believe, and even if there is nothing personally to gain from extending them kindness. Rosa Parks is quoted as saying, nothing in the golden rule says that others will treat us as we have treated them. It only says that we must treat others in a way that we would want to be treated. 
When you leave here, remember, everyone matters. The second part of our slogan you hear each day on the morning announcements is that every moment counts. If COVID has taught us nothing else, it's that none of us are guaranteed another anything. Your senior class had the opportunity to return to school in person after it was abruptly taken, and you've truly made the most of every opportunity. You were so grateful even for the smallest gestures that resembled normalcy and have been a joy to lead. Graduates, in the past year and a half, despite a great deal of fear, conflict, and negativity in our world and country, you were given a priceless gift, and that is the gift of a new perspective. You know every moment counts because you've lived through it. You're able to live. McCracken County, High McCracken County High School salutes the valedictorians in the class of 2021. Haley Arnold. Margaret Eit. Avery Bailey. Sarah Baker. Caroline Barrow. Samantha Becker. Bailey Bolin. Brooke Bowling, Murphy Bird, Ava Shoup, Maxon Collins, Gracie Conway, Elizabeth Corey, Michael Delaney, Olivia Dodge, Madison Garrett, Anna Gibson, Morgan Guess, Carly Hack, Mason Hancock, Hannah Hatton, Jackson Haynes, Rachel Holmes. Rachel Huang, Bailey Joyce, Lindsay Lawrence, Madison Meadows, Emma Newton, Xander Norman, Shelby Hurrier. Emma Schaff, Madison Schneeman, Maggie Smith,
Matthew Stokes. Callie Taylor. Molly Thomas. Barbara Williams. Mason Wooten. Salutatorian. T20. Salutatorians in the class of 2021. Baker Allard. Olivia Baker. Chrissy Cockrell. Hannah Diefenbach. Hallie Harned. Jada Harris. Crawford Jones. Laura
Good evening, friends, family, and members of the Good evening, friends, family, and members of the class of 2021. Standing up here now, the only word I can truly think of to say is wow. If you would have told me six months ago that we would even be having a graduation, I'm not sure I would have believed you. But here we are, finding a way to celebrate the class of 2021, even in the most unprecedented of circumstances. Growing up, I was often told, you can't understand someone until you've walked a mile in their shoes. We're gathered here today to celebrate the class of 2021. So just for the next few moments, we're going to walk a mile in the class of 2021's shoes. We started as the class who chose. I remember this one day in third grade, my teacher explained to us these huge new plans to build a massive high school we would one day attend. We were then given tiny slips of paper to vote on the colors and the mascot of the school. I'm pretty sure I voted for us to be the teal and yellow Panthers. Looking back, I'm not sure why they gave eight-year-olds a choice, but I'm sure glad they didn't listen. Now I can't imagine us being anything other than the McCracken County Mustangs. We were then the class who grew up. As the elementary school hallways we used to walk grew smaller and the transition to middle school was made, we found friend groups, made mistakes, and complained about the several years of school we had ahead of us. We were the class who watched. The class who watched their first day of school pep rally their freshman year, 
seeing their principals dance ridiculously in front of the entire student body. We watched the crazy promposals from upperclassmen in the lunchroom. We watched the people in the classes above us, who we had looked up to for so long, graduate and move on. The class who learned. We learned how to study, pick classes, time manage, or at least try to. We learned who our true friends were. We learned that you don't actually need a full eight hours of sleep to function at school. We learned that you absolutely cannot miss the Thanksgiving meal in the cafeteria each year. We learned who we were, what morals we held, and began to think about our futures. And then one day in March 2020, we began to learn about the coronavirus. And on March 13th, a day that felt like nothing more than a dream, we walked into our school no, having no idea that it was the last normal day we would ever experience at McCracken County High School. The last day we would ever see our teachers smiling faces. The last day we would see half of our classmates. The last day we wouldn't have to end class five minutes early to clean our desks and chairs. The last day we wouldn't have to worry about getting quarantined for two weeks anytime we sat closer than six feet to someone. Our last normal day. And then as a two week break turned into a month break, which turned into the rest of the school year, which turned into summer, we became the class that was filled with uncertainty. And then as August ran into September, which ran into October, as school days alternated from A and B schedules to fully virtual, we became the class that realized. We realized that this wasn't just a phase. It wasn't just going to be a couple of months and it was over. And then when November came and we went fully virtual as, classes, as cases rose daily, we became the class that lost all hope. Sports were canceled, we were isolated from nearly everyone, and we accepted the fact that we may not return to in-person school for the rest of the year. It was at that moment of realization that we became the class that reflected. As I found myself sitting at home, I reflected on the past four years of my life that I had somehow let pass me by so fleetingly. I thought about the several sports events I didn't go to because I was too tired. I thought about the several dances I didn't attend because I was too shy. I thought about the clubs I didn't get involved in sooner because I thought I was too busy. I thought about the days I stood in the gym complaining because pep rallies were taking too long. I thought about how I didn't take more time to appreciate how lucky I was to look at everyone's smiling faces when I passed them in the hallway. I thought about how I didn't appreciate a simple touch, whether it was a hug from a teacher, a high five in the hallway, or a fist bump in class. I thought about how I didn't savor every wingding I ate in the cafeteria surrounded by my classmates. I reflected on the fact that I blinked and all of a sudden four of the best years of my life were over and I let it pass me by without appreciating every single second. I finally realized how precious every moment in the school was, and it was too late. So we became the class that made the best of it. After returning to school full time in March, we collectively made the decision to appreciate every single moment we had left. The last two months of high school have been filled with sports events filled to max capacity, makeshift proms thrown in our backyard, learning to smile with our eyes when passing each other in the hallway, college decision parties surrounded by the people we love, wild senior Wednesday treats, and classes full of laughter and conversation, which now held all of us rather than just half. We finally began to truly see that everyone mattered and every moment did count. The past year of our life has been anything but easy on us, but we have learned something that often takes people a lifetime to figure out. Life doesn't stop for anyone. You don't get a pause button that you can press whenever things aren't going your way. But that doesn't mean you get to stop living. Life isn't going to wait for you to realize how precious it is. It's going to keep going and going and going, and it's up to you to catch up. So walk as many miles as you can in other people's shoes. Take risks, go on adventures, go to college, or don't. Eat the carbs, buy yourself a Starbucks, Hug your friends and tell the people you love that you love them while you still have the chance. Life has dealt us some pretty crappy cards this past year, but at the end of the day, we can now look adversity in the face and smile. This virus took a lot from us. Our school days, our sports seasons, our smiles, but it couldn't take our number. 
So, as I stand here in, quite in front of quite possibly the strongest group of people I know, or a quarter of us at least, I say this. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. Thank you. Benjamin Christopher Schofield. Jameson Philip Evers. Scott Allen Adair. Jonathan Leslie Burgess. Donston Kendall Brown. Zoe Grace Logston. Amaya Lynn Wilkie. Miller Bick. Zoe Elizabeth Brinker. Macy Catherine Vick. Michael Anthony Herndon. Annabelle May Cox. Jacqueline Adele Filer. Anna Pham. Hannah Brooke Sunderland. Megan Leanne Kinsey. Samuel Easton Salyer. Akira Lachey Holstein. Caitlin Marie France. Grace Ann McCormick. Dawson Tanner Jones. Blake Lee Hicks. Zachary Christopher Sawyer.
Cole Hurt Stevenson. Rachel Kristen Straub. Kirsten Nicole Barks. William Isaac Asbill. Patricia Wilson. Drew Lindsay Mullinax. Jada Brooke Harris. Isaac Bailey Feaser. Gavin Keith O'Donnelly. Hallie Kate Harned. Callie Nicole Taylor. Addison Brooke Webb. Olivia Sky Baker. Abigail Leanne Meadows. Chrissy Joe Cockrell. Caroline Grayson Barrow. Ava Marie Shoup. Lillian Rose Waymeyer. Amanda Lauren Hain. Abigail Christina Lester. Christopher Ross Burton. Nathan Chad Kinsey. Matthew Franklin Gross. Carter Andrew Rowland. Noah Christopher Dumas. Alexander Charles Mays. Adam Kenneth Lynn. Savannah Grace Stewart. Dawson Carter Barnes. Brendan Robert Evers. Cole Adrian Kidd. Garrett Aubrey Hicks. Caleb Lane Giltner.
Bronson Tyler Colson. Malcolm Eli Giltner. J. Douglas Hookham. Baker Keith Allard. Rylan Luke Colley. Hallie Larray Sidnor. Joseph Wyatt Hazel. Hunter Jesse Hazel. John Garrett Reichel. Davis Glenn Vessels. Riley William Skinner. Caleb Thomas Madison. Juan Carlos Velasquez. Hayes Douglas Parrish. Kenton Gabriel Nash Manea. Madison Rachel Vickery. Morgan Kinsey Lacali. Rachel James Holmes. Jaylee Rose Samaro. Sierra Noel Pyatt. Isabel Veronica Flan. Xander Borkowski Hart. Alyssa Michelle Redeem Savage. Jana Lee Youngblood. Lane Alexander Lagore. John Landon Webb. Cesar Eduardo Camacho. Stephanie Melanie Gimby Campanure. Robert Weaver Holt. Nicholas Alexander Scott. Gavin Christopher Dover.
Riley Danielle Fox. Hadley Eve Shepherd. Evelyn Rebecca Bagwell. Michael Allen Fairhurst. Jacob Aaron Griffin. Alexandra May Heckenberg. Nate Boyd. Heckenberg. It is now my honor to present these candidates for graduation to our superintendent, Mr. Steve Carter. It is a privilege to serve as superintendent of McCracken County Schools. One vision, endless opp opportunities, is the mission and vision of our schools. Within your graduating class, you will have teachers, doctors, engineers, nurses, skilled laborers, artists, an outstanding family and community member. Without a doubt, the class of 2021 will be remembered for many memorable accomplishments as well as graduating amongst a global pandemic. You have not only studied history, you're living it. Your resiliency and flexibility during these times demonstrates that you are well prepared to seize the endless opportunities that wait you on your next journey. Seniors, if you'll please rise. Having fulfilled.